What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here and I'm going for a drive. Okay, first things first. Yeah, I'm going for a drive and I see I got a little bit of quarantine beard going on here. A little bit, you know, it cares though right um, I'm going to pick up some free weights for my wife uh, she wanted a, a couple of different weights that we don't have and so uh, I'm gonna go pick up those right now it's a private pickup uh, at play it again sports you call and he's headed to the store I'll be the only one in the store so uh, I think uh, about as safe as you can do it right now um, and so we're doing that right now, but I thought while I'm driving, I might as well start this video because I've got a video to put together this weekend, thanks to you guys. I was gonna put one together anyway, but the tone of the thing is now changed because... Yeah, I've never been to play it again sports here, so I had to punch in the address. Uh, and so my phone is telling me. Um, yeah, the, uh, the tone of this thing changed a little bit because we've passed 500. We are 500 plus subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. That was actually my goal for the year. Um, when I started this channel back in uh, about mid-December of 2019, I had set a goal, and I, th I think I set it on one of those first couple of videos, is I was hoping to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. That was my 2020 goal. And uh, I guess we've got to set a new 2020 goal because I passed that. We are past 500 subscribers, and we are still climbing. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, it's amazing that, uh, that this has happened so quickly and that people are watching, that I, I hope people are getting some value out of these videos. I mean, that's why I'm putting them together, is to share what I've learned, what I'm learning, give tips, give tricks. And um, so, as a result, as promised, we've got some giveaways. Uh, I've got some swag from some of the top resellers in the YouTube arena. We've got something coming from Prime Time Treasure Hunter. We've got something from Lot of Josh. We've also got something coming from Pure Hustle Podcast and one of the OGs of the reselling world, Kevin, over at Commonwealth Flipper Picker, both of those, I guess, now. Um, we've got something from him as well. So I'm really, really excited to give these away, and I'm going to throw some stuff in there as well. All right, so I've got those weights, just a quick out and back trip. Uh, the nice thing about living in a small town is you can get about anywhere in 10 to 15 minutes and with less traffic on the road it was about eight minutes it took no time at all um, we're gonna get to all the stuff that we've got to give away I'm gonna run through that at the end of this show um, it will tell you how you can win it what the rules are all that jazz but First, I just wanted to uh, share a couple tips with you, and then we're gonna move into what sold, at least to this point in the weekend. It's pushing on five o'clock on Saturday right now as I'm doing this. Um, and the first thing relates to what I'm out doing today. If you've got weights sitting around the house, if you've got gym workout at home equipment of any kind, now is the time to get it listed. I know there's been an awful lot of talk about puzzles, uh, of course, board games, stuff like that. Uh, weights right now a lot of times it's 50 cents to a dollar per pound depending on the shape of the weight and if it's got the neoprene cover on it and that sort of thing um, that is not the case right now uh, right now the price has gone up and so I would even suggest not even necessarily selling it on eBay give it a shot on your local Facebook marketplace because then you don't have any fees to worry about. Now I get people, I, I get, we're distancing, I, I and I'm doing it myself. Um, we, we all need to be doing it, but there are safe ways to do that. You can do the porch pick pickup thing. There's electronic pay, so you don't have to worry about cash. There are ways that you can do this and, and do it well and do it safely. So um, that is something, oh, you are going to run the light. She was not even looking up. <laughs> he was staring in her lap. Um, so 
there are safe ways that you can do that. So I would suggest that as uh, the easiest and probably the most profitable. But if you don't feel comfortable with doing that, certainly they're selling on eBay right now like crazy. So uh, free weights right now. I talked to the lady at Plate again, and free weights are what they're selling the most of. They're ordering them, and then they're going out as soon as they're getting them. The ones that I picked up are, are brand new. They just got them in Friday, and they're pretty much sold out of the stuff they got in. So if you've got free weights, now is the time to start doing something with those. Uh, I mentioned, of course, board games. Of course, uh, puzzles are selling very well. But I went into my death pile today and pulled out a pile of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, these are, there's some in there that are uncommon and, and a little bit more rare. Um, but I didn't really honestly want to sift through that whole pile and find those you know there's an app that you can scan and it'll tell you what that card is worth and if it's classified as common rare uncommon whatever i just didn't want to go through all that so really all i did i went through and counted i think we wound up with 816 so it was 800 plus magic the gathering cards i put them up very competitively i wanted to move them um, they, they've just been sitting in a tote anyway, right? Um, so I put them up there. There was, as I said, a, a little over 800. I put them up for $19.99 plus uh, padded flat rate priority shipping. And they lasted an hour and a half, maybe. Um, they moved very, very quickly. So if you've got stuff like that, um, you know, that's not necessarily a card a card game in in the normal sense right that you would think of but um, magic the gathering any kind of role-playing card type anything that can take up time at home right now so magic the gathering is apparently a hot selling item um, I did actually notice that homemade masks are selling very very well right now it looks like depending on the color, the style, that sort of thing, anywhere between about $5 and $10 a piece. Some people are selling lots of three for like $24.99. Um, so if that's a skill that you have, and maybe you're at home anyway, um, that's something that you could make some money on right now. And you know, the, the material for it isn't gonna cost you that much. It's just the time involved in making them. So, if you wanted to go ahead and do that right now, they are selling. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last, but at least right now, it, it does look like if you put some fun designs together as far as fun patterns on the uh, on the masks, even basic white and black masks are selling. But uh, the, the fancier they are, the better they're selling. So that might be something you could sell right now as well if you don't have anything to pull out of your death pile, but you're, you're a bit of a seamstress, seems we're a steam seamster what's a man seamstress i don't know uh, <laughs> uh, a sewer if you know how to do that stuff now would be the time to do it um and so that those just a couple tips for you um now let's move into what's sold okay so we're in the shop now time to go over what sold jumping back a few days this is something that we sold a couple days ago, if you remember. This was part of one of our drive-by bolos, is picking up and parting out crock pots. Now, we'd already sold the metal, um, the shell on the outside. It also contained the heating unit underneath. That had already sold a little while ago, and now this is sold. This is the stoneware piece that goes inside. $17 plus priority shipping, all told. They were in about 50 bucks. So this is a really nice sale. Remember, we paid $5.00 for that whole thing. Once I sell the lid, that's gonna be another 18, 19 bucks. We're gonna make about 50 bucks off of that $5 crock pot. And now we sold another Food Fighters. I wish I had more than just the two. Remember back in the last video, we sold one on Mercari. Now we sold the other on eBay. Uh, this one actually was missing. You see the figure and then down below they have a backpack and an accessory, typically a gun or whatever. Uh, this one was missing the backpack and accessory. It was just the figure, but it was still mint on card. So it still had some definite value. Somebody sold me an sent, nah, somebody sent me an offer of $48 and I said sold. There you go. Okay. now this one makes sense considering everybody's stuck and getting bored, but these always, 
a good thing to pick up. I got this thing for, I think it was like 50 cents or something. I picked this up at the National Guard Thrift Store. This in, uh, in the same video where I picked up those vintage wall trimmers that sold for a lot of money. Uh, this was uh, not very much. I wouldn't have paid more than a buck for this. And it didn't sell for much. This is not a particularly valuable one, but $10.49 free shipping, but they don't weigh very much. So we made a few bucks on this. We also made a few bucks on this video game, uh, Splatoon. This is a pretty good game. Now, it's not a high dollar game, but the sell-through rate is very good. So I picked this up. I think it was like three bucks at Goodwill, and I wouldn't have paid that much for it other than I knew that it would sell. I wasn't worried about it sitting around in the store forever, and it didn't. Um, it, it sat around for about a month or so. I picked this up probably, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago, something like that. Um, but still, uh, we, we make a couple bucks on this, $13.99 for Splatoon. This came out of a garage sale this, uh, well, this past summer. Uh, picked this up along with some other die-cast stuff. It was really kind of a hodgepodge sale, but they had some cool stuff, and we're selling through them. Not a lot of high-dollar things, but uh, a lot of things that are selling well. And this from the old Dick Tracy show, this is Tess's car. Now, the, uh, the plastic bubble on the front has peeled off of the backing, uh, but the car is in mint condition, so it's still mint on card. Sold this for 9 bucks and change. And then... Took a deal on this for 18 bucks. I think I had it listed at 19.99, 19.98, something like that. This a uh, an original GI Joe outfit. This is the uh, the naval outfit, both the shirt and the pants. Uh, actually, just sold the uh, the Dixie cup, the hat, the other day as well. So I think people are, uh, I, I guess they're playing with their GI Joes right now. Um, so this sold for 18 dollars, free shipping, but it weighed like an ounce and a half, I think. Uh, all told, which goes out for what the three ounce rate. So we paid three, four bucks in shipping and we made some decent money on this one. And again, I like selling smalls. They're so easy to photograph, to list, to store and to ship. So we're selling a lot of smalls right now, but all of this stuff adds up. Then media, I like selling media as well, really for the same reasons. This one has a particularly good sell through rate as well. Pick this one up at Goodwill. This is the Fisher King, Robin Williams, Jeff Bridges, uh, took an offer. I think I had it up for 18 or 19 bucks, took an offer of 15, a little lower than I wanted, but I'm happy just to move it out. And if somebody's bored and wants to watch a movie right now, I, I'll help them out. I don't mind. It's not worth fighting over a dollar or two, right? At this point. So um, sent out the Fisher King for $15. And then we also sold this, this going out to somebody in Puerto Rico, actually. Uh, I talked on uh, the Primetime Treasure Hunter show that I was on here this past week about Bibles, at least briefly, that uh, some Bibles do sell and sell well. This is one I picked up here just recently, about a, three weeks, four weeks ago, right before uh, all of the lockdown stuff started was when this came from. And it sold for uh, $19.99. Free shipping, but it's medium mail. Okay, we did it again. <laughs> Barbie. Well, four Barbies. Um, I sold, remember we picked these up at uh, at Walmart for two fifty dollars a piece on clearance quite some time ago. And uh, they just mostly sat. I sold one relatively quickly, one lot of four. And then the rest of them, they've just been sitting and they haven't been moving. All of a sudden, a couple days ago, I sold one to Australia. And overnight, we sold another one to Australia. All three of these, all three sets of four, ended up going to Australia. So not bad. Two fifty dollars a piece. And so uh, each lot of four costing me, of course, $10. I took an offer of $135 Australian dollars. Now, their dollar is not strong. It's like 60 some cents uh, U.S., but we're still going to make a pretty good profit on this. These go out for about the... Uh, I've got to see. I think I can get these out just at about the three pound simple export rate, uh, depending on how I package them. Even if it goes over, uh, we're going to get, it's thirty four ninety nine, I think for the, uh, for the four pound rate. And so we still make pretty good profit off of this. How about another international sale? They'd slow down for me a lot, but now they're picking back up again. This Mary Kay picked this up at, uh, at the church thrift store. This was in a video as well. I think it was a quarter. I think we ended up paying 25 cents for this one and another Mary Kay. This actually a uh, a retired one, I think, from, yeah, it's from 2010. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise. It's, uh, it's liquid foundation. 
and this going to somebody in the UK for, uh, I don't remember, but it's over there. Now that is in Great British Pounds, but uh, this is not going to cost anything to ship. It's going to be very, very light. We're going to get this under the, uh, the half pound rate. So this a very nice flip off of a quarter. Okay, now I mentioned these as we are driving back in. Magic cards. This is, uh, it's like three pounds, a little over three pounds of magic cards, I think. Um, awful lot, 800 plus cards here. These sold for $19.99 plus priority shipping. So if you've got magic cards, if you've got any of those role-playing type games that are going to eat up hours, list them. The next thing, uh, bought but not paid for, I guess. I'm hoping he pays for them. I took an offer of $11.00. Uh, plus shipping for these, but shipping is going to be nothing. They don't weigh much. These are Washington State tax tokens, uh, vintage tokens. Uh, a whole string of them here. I don't remember exactly how many. The listing probably says. But I found these in uh, that old, basically condemned house. We pulled several things out of there. That's where we got the vintage, the, the cardboard fireplace, as you recall, that we sold right away within a day for like 50 55 bucks, something like that. Um, these were just thrown in the box. I'm slowly starting to list a few of the things that, uh, that we have there that's been sitting around. It's time to pull out of death piles, right? And now, just like the Barbies, some things sit around and then all of a sudden start selling. That's these things. Um, these are ring cap refills. Um, I lotted these up. I picked these up at our local thrift. Uh, I got, all of a sudden one day there is, they were in the little display case. I saw a whole bunch of them in there. I can't even remember how much we, how many of them we got. Um, quite a few because they were such a good deal. Now these are longer tail items. It's going to take a little bit to sell, but we're going to make really good money on these because these were taped together in lots of 11 for $5 a piece. Okay. So I don't know. You do the math. Well, I mean, if they were 10 for $5 a piece, they'd be what? 50 cents. So these are, let's call them 55 cents. I don't know. 60 cents. Um, I haven't done the math, but they're basic. They're less than a dollar. And so I did some comps and looked, and these things do sell. So I lotted them up in a lot of four, and they sold two of these. Now, one sold yesterday, and one sold here this afternoon. Two different buyers. I've only sold one of these before this. Um, and so they're just kind of sitting there hanging out, and I've got a whole bag of them still. But uh, we are going to make money, like I said, because these sold for just under $24. Now, it's free shipping, but they're very, very light. It's going to cost like 3 bucks to ship these out. So uh, it puts that down at, what, 20 bucks after shipping and fees. And then my buy-in for these is, what, 2 bucks ballpark for, uh, for the package. So that leaves us with $18 of profit on these. So not bad. We sold these and we sold these. Pretty good. And as we were shooting this last bit, I sold something else. So this is a nice sale. This is a collection of the Peanuts comic pages. Um, we'll open it up. I'll show you. But I picked this up from the church thrift. I picked up this one and uh, a collection from the 70s as well. Now the one from the 70s already sold. Um, this one's been hanging around for a little bit, but this sold for $31.98, I think, plus shipping. So not bad. And we paid three bucks for each of those. And these are, these are brand new. I mean, the, the spine is, I mean, it, it's not even cracked. So I don't want to pop out open too much, but see, it's just a collection of, um, the comics from the entire 1980s. So somebody's got a lot of reading ahead of them. So I appreciate that purchase. That's what we've sold. At least that's what we've sold through the last little bit here uh, at about five o'clock on Saturday. But we're going to cut it off. Usually we go through Saturday and into Sunday. But I need some time to tell you about what we're doing here with the giveaway. Once again, we passed 500 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I, it's it's crazy to, to look at the number on there. I didn't think it would happen uh, nearly this quickly. I was pretty sure it would happen eventually, but uh, I guess a lot of people stuck at home and <laughs> need stuff to watch. So I'm glad they're watching me. Um, here's what we need to do. Here's the contest stuff. Now I'm going to put the rules underneath there. We're going to follow all the YouTubery guidelines, but the biggest thing, uh, I, I, these are not part of the rules, but I would love if you are not to subscribe. Uh, we go through a lot of stuff on this channel. We talk about bolos right now, like everybody else, pretty much doing what solds. Um, but there's going to be other videos uh, in here as well. Very, very soon, we're going to... Whoa! Very... 
Sorry. Very, very soon we're going to talk about uh, international sales. Uh, as you saw here this weekend, I had several. I think far too many people don't take advantage of those, and you're missing out. Uh, I'm, I'm talking with some people that are very smart when it comes to international sales. There's a program that I use that's uh, boosted my stuff even more, and some of the top people in the company are talking with me, giving me information. We're going to have a video about that coming up soon. That's just one thing coming. So I, I would appreciate if you subscribe. Uh, hit the bell. That'll let you know when we go live. We've been going live a lot of times on Monday nights, so you'll see those interviews. We've got another one coming up here uh, tomorrow night with Rev Resale. Right over here, he's a fantastic guy, and uh, it's going to be a really cool interview. So hit that bell. That'll remind you when those things happen. Hit the thumbs up on this video, on other videos. That helps me. That helps us pick up more and more subscribers. Um, we're giving stuff away at 500. I'm absolutely going to give stuff away when we hit 1,000. So uh, just in your own best self-interest, uh, help me get there faster, right? So you have another chance to win. Uh, but in terms of this contest... All you got to do is comment down below. doesn't matter what you say. It'd be nice if you said something nice, but just say something down below in the comments. This is going to run not this coming Monday, not tomorrow, but a week after that. I think that's the 14th. 13th? 14th? I think it's the 14th. So uh, we, we got one week and a day. And then uh, on that day, I will be running those comments through... Uh, just one of the random generators, and we're going to pick winners. Uh, now, you, one winner per prize, so you can't double up. Hopefully, you like what you get. I think we've got some cool stuff. Uh, we got five things. Five things for 500, right? I, I like symmetry, so that's what we're doing. And I reached out to some of the top YouTuber resellers out there and uh, folks that I think you should be watching. And so here's stuff from each of those folks. First one, a um, lot of Josh. This is actually from uh, the Joshes of reselling. He sent me. Uh, he sent me a mic. He says I don't really have swag, but I said there's there's something there that uh, that screams Josh. And so uh, we've got their mug of the Joshes of reselling, and he autographed it just for you. There's only one of these. This is a one of a kind. O O A K is what you would put in your listing. So this is going out to one lucky winner. And uh, again, through all of these, go and subscribe to, to these people because these guys have a lot of great information. So um, we've got an autographed lot of Josh. Josh is a reselling mug. That's number one. These are in no particular order, just in the order that I can reach them back on my bench, really. And then next, um, I wanted to come up with something for these guys. Now, they, they have a shirt, and a shirt is really cool. And... Uh, it's cool that you can listen to these guys or you can watch these guys. Pure Hustle Podcast. You need to be watching. You need to be listening. One of those. If you watch on YouTube like I do, I, I turn it on on, uh, on YouTube and then just have it on in the background while I'm doing other stuff. It's fantastic while you're listing or while you're packing. Um, if you've noticed, if you watch these guys, um, fingerlings have been talked about here and again. Um, and then this guy showed up on the newer set. It's been sitting on a shelf. It's not on that shelf anymore. It's here with me, but it's going out soon to one of you. Um, <laughs> Fingerlings. You guys remember Fingerlings, uh, the bane of Orlando's existence. I think he might still have uh, well, a lot of Fingerlings. Um, but this is no ordinary Fingerling. It's an autographed Fingerling from the guys from Mike and Orlando. So... Um, Thank you so much for sending this to me. I thought it was the weirdest thing. I said, you know what? Because we talked initially about a shirt. And we were going to hold off on me waiting until I found out who won. And then we'd make sure that it was the right size. And then I just thought, you know what? That shirt's too easy. Let's come up with something that screams pure hustle. Yeah, pure hustle podcast. And I thought, I sent, uh, I sent the guys a message. And I said, you know what? This might be weird. Will you send me a fingerling? I didn't know they were going to send me the one from set. So this is really cool. This is going out to one of you. The guy that helped us hit 500, um, he put a call out in his group, and I was at 470 Monday afternoon. And then by Monday evening, I was like at 505 or something like that. We jumped a whole lot in a few hours. And uh, Dominic, 
thank you so much once again for that. That was really, really cool. But he pushed us over the edge, and now we're, we're still rolling. The ball's still going downhill, which is awesome. And uh, if you guys follow uh, Dominic, he's the primetime treasure hunter. If you follow him at all, you know he specializes in comics. And so I said, you know what? What do you got comic-y that you can send? And he said, what if I send a stack? So now these aren't, uh, I, I suppose you could resell these if you really wanted to as a lot. You would probably make a little bit of money on them. Um, but these are basically just because they're cool. They're old comics and it'd be kind of cool to flip through them. I'm going to just flip through and show you. They're all bagged. They're all boarded and they're all old. This is a 12 cent um, from, I don't know what, 1962. This is Follow the Sun. Okay. This is all from Dominic. He sent all of these for us. So we've got this one. We've got a Batman. Now this is minus the cover, but it's still really, really cool. This is a Batman from 1968. So these are great readers right now. And with comics not being printed right now, like I said, if you wanted to, you could probably resell some of these, if not all of them, just in one lot. Um, this is Checkmate. I've never heard of this one, but it looks pretty cool. Again, from the 60s. This is from 1962. So we got that guy. This is a really cool variety. Now we go into the Westerns. This is Dale Evans. So we got that one. There's a big stack here, guys. This one's cool. Henry. I've never heard of him either. Carl Anderson's Henry. This is a 10 cent. This is definitely an older, older comic. I'm not sure the year on this one. It's September, October. Yeah, I don't see a year on this one, but it's a 10 cent. It's got some water damage, uh, not in the best of condition as far as, you know, it's, it's not a showcase piece, but it's still very, very, very cool. Now we've got, uh, for the Looney Tunes fans, we got one for you too. Um, this one, a gold key. This is from May of, I don't know what year, but it's a 15 cent. So it's old as well. Uh, hee haw, this is a really cool one. This again, a, uh, a 15 cent. So we've got an old hee haw. The comics keep on coming. This is a neat one. I would almost want this one myself. Another 15 cents. This is uh, Phantom, which is a, I mean, this, this is just a cool comic and a, and a really cool cover. I would, that's almost a frameable one. I think just because it's a it's a cool image. Um, we've got a Jughead plus this one is the one that's got a uh, you've got a handwritten note from the man himself. So you get a handwritten note from Dominic along with Jughead, and we got two more. We got Popeye. How was that? That was not bad, right? <laughs> Popeye. And then we've got, uh, I've never heard of this one either, but it's really cool looking. It's from 1962, Drift Marlowe. Drift had to gamble. Could he save our space secrets? So Drift Marlowe. I've never heard of him, but I kind of want to look it up. Sounds pretty cool. So those all from the Primetime Treasure Hunter. That whole lot, I think there's 14 of them or something there. Um, that whole lot going out to one of you guys. So that's the next one. Hey, and reseller number four. This is our last uh, reseller that I reached out to, but not the last reseller that's got something for you. Um, this one, he helped us get a bunch of subscribers a little bit back as well. I think about 30 people from his channel came on over. Uh, Kevin, the Commonwealth flipper, picker, um, he always wears the Titleist hat, right? Well, he was about to retire his hat. And I sent him a message looking for something and he offered up his hat. Now, of course he is so kind. He offered it up for nothing and I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to do that. I, I paid him something for this because that, that was just too kind of him because he probably could have auctioned this off and uh, well, he definitely could have auctioned this off and, and made some money for he and his family. So I wasn't about to let him do that, but um, he actually autographed this on the, uh, on one of his videos, which was really cool of him to do. So uh, if you like the Commonwealth Flipper, also the Commonwealth Picker, he's got two channels now. He's working on sort of merging into another one, I think. Uh, just finished up his cabin. It looks like an Airbnb. Um, he's really, really good. He's been doing this for like 20 years. So 
get on his channel, follow him. You're going to learn a lot of stuff. I do. He puts out fantastic videos and uh, just uh, an outstanding, an outstanding man. So um, Kevin's autographed Titleist hat is going to one of you guys as well. Okay, and then I said five, right? I said five things. I reached out to four resellers, but you know what? I think you should be watching my channel. So I put myself in the five. That's fair, right? Um, but I wanted to think of something, though, that um, you can either, whoever gets this, they can sell it or they can keep it. Um, this is uh, this is a bolo. This is something that you need to look out for. So I'm trying to teach you along with reward you. That's pretty cool, right? Um, this is one you definitely want to keep an eye out for. It's not often you're going to find them in this condition, but this is definitely now around Christmas. I'm going to tell you these will these will spike up because people are going to want to get these as Christmas presents. So if you get this and you are going to resell it, you probably want to hang on to it until uh, you're you're edging toward that uh, that fourth quarter because it will see a bump. They do sell more on Amazon. If you're an Amazon seller, you do get a premium on Amazon, but they also do sell on eBay. What are we talking about? This is what we're talking about. Now I'm going to take them out and I'll show you, but. Big Mouth Billy Bass. They made these for a while. The ones you want to look out for, one like this. Now, like I said, you're not going to often find them with the box. You're going to see them sitting around just loose. The box adds value to the right ear. It's it's either Jemmy or Gemmy. They make a lot of the, the Halloween animatronics and stuff like that. People love those things. Keep it. It's G-E-M-M-Y. I'm going to show you that because that's something that you want to wear it once. Now, let me show you what it looks like out of the box. Okay, now this guy, look at the condition. That's going to, well, that's taped, so we're good. This is new, guys. This is essentially new old stock. Um, it's still got the blank name. I don't know what, that was a separate nameplate. I don't know if it's, if you wanted to have that engraved and put your own on there. I don't know what that's about, but this thing is brand new. Now, I did um, test it, and I put batteries in it. Typically, I don't send with batteries but you know what i will with this one because that way you have batteries when it shows up and it's just ready to go um, but because it has batteries already in it that means we can do this let's see what he does here here he comes Now I stopped it. I don't know if that's enough for us to get copyright strike or not. We'll see. Um, but he also... They might get me on these. I don't know. We'll see. Um, he plays the two songs. The two songs are the ones... The, the, the two song version. That's the one you want. But there are others. There are others that sell. So Big Mouth Billy Bass is coming one of y'all's way. Um... I might, you know what, I'll put up over here on the side just so you can see what these things are worth, at least what they're worth right now on eBay. But like I said, uh, towards the holidays, they are going to ramp up a little bit. But um, this would be kind of cool just to uh, just to have in your, uh, in your eBay room, right? So that's the lineup, guys. That's the stuff we got. I hope it's stuff that you think is cool. I hope it's stuff that you like. Um, I, I, once again, appreciate all the, uh, the resellers that sent me stuff to give away on this. I'm going to ask you one more time. Go and subscribe to their channels. They're excellent, excellent resellers and very good YouTubers as well. So do that. And again, all you have to do to enter this contest, comment down below. The rules are down below in the description. It's basically just the legal mumbo jumbo that you have to put in there so that YouTube doesn't take my channel down. Um, comment on this video. And we're going to pick a winner in uh, a week and a day's time. So... I will then put that video out and we'll just randomly select comments and we'll see who wins these things. Then you just got to send me, uh, send me your address and these will be shipped out to you at no charge. So thank you once again so much for watching. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night. I'm going to be talking again. Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but we're going to be talking with Rev Resale. He is a full-time reverend and as he says, a fun-time reseller. Oh, he's not part-time. We're going to talk about that. But uh, you know what? In, in, in homage to the Rev, we're going to end this video in the only way he knows how. Deuces. See you guys.